as I got older, I went to Sunday school in a building right behind here and up is where the rabbi lived. Next door, set back, was the Hebrew school. So I went to Hebrew school there, and on Sunday they had Sunday school. I went there also. And I would come down the hill here from Post Street to go home. And down, not here, from Post Street down Spring Street Hill here, down here. It would be around 12. Well, the readers most, they did a big business on Sunday morning. But by 12 o'clock they were done. And some of them would be sitting out here, some of them would be sitting out here. And they'd always invite me in. And I would sit in this store, in this very little inside here, on one of these chairs, but you said this one's from your house, yeah. on one of the old chairs, and they would like sit in a circle, and they would ask me questions about my family. It was sort of like being uh, interrogated by the CIA or the FBI. But they asked me about all my family members. They wanted to know the news. And I came from big families. I had tons of cousins, all older than I was on my mother's side. And they were at uni when I was young, they were at universities all over the east in the central part of the United States. And they wanted to know about each kid, how he, what he was doing, what he was studying. And then in the Weiner family, there were a lot of kids, but they were all roughly my age or five or six years older. And uh, they would ask me about them and ask me how my relatives were. I was the baby. They would just bring me in here. And to the point that by 1 o'clock, my mother would say, maybe something happened to him. And she would come up here looking, but she came in here and came in. She says, you're, you know, your lunch is waiting for you, and you got to get home. And then she would ask me what they asked me. So I wasn't sure whether they were CIA or just nice people who wanted to know.